so if you are preparing for pg entrance examination and if you want to increase the number of hours for your study what will you do the first thing that most of the students say is that they would want to decrease the number of their sleeping hours they want to decrease the sleeping duration so should that be done what should be the ideal duration of sleep and uh, how can we manage our sleep during this period let's talk about all this stuff i am dr pravin tripathi i am a faculty of psychiatry and i teach psychiatry using my app and uh, I I get this query uh, frequently from the side of students that how many hours should they sleep Now students before I tell the answer I want you to know two things First of all whatever you study during the period of the day it kind of gets stored in the beginning in the short term memory which is basically uh in the hippocampus And then the second step is uh whatever information is there in the short term memory in the hippocampus that gets transferred into the cortex Uh, where the long term memory is stored and and that hippocampus the short term memory storage it gets freed of information so that it can imbibe more information which means when you when you start the next day hippocampus should be kind of free of the information so that you can remember new stuff learn new stuff now this transfer of information from short term memory to long term memory or in other words from hippocampus to cortex that happens in nrem non rapid eye movement sleep nrem2 and the deep sleep the nrem3 and 4 so this transfer happens during the nrem sleep more importantly or equally importantly uh, the assimilation of the information whatever you had learned today it would get assimilated and it would get clubbed together with what, with whatever you already knew during the rem sleep so two things are happening information is getting transferred from one part of the brain to another and then uh in another part of sleep the newly learned information gets accumulated and it it gets clubbed along with the existing information which happens in rem sleep so both of these events which are very critical for learning are happening during sleep now say say you are a person who did not sleep well the last night so what will happen the first thing that will happen is the information in in the short term memory the storage uh the short term memory storage is still full of information it has yet not been transferred to the long term memory so whatever you are reading the next day you would not be able to imbibe it as well uh, you must have experienced it yourself that if you did not have good sleep the last night the next day you find it difficult to learn you you don't feel like or you don't you don't feel that the information is going inside your mind why because the short term storage is already full and you cannot put more information into it and more importantly because you did not sleep properly whatever you are reading it is not going in the long term memory so you would not be able to recall it after some time so the whole purpose of studying is uh, probably uh, uh, not getting fulfilled so it is extremely important that you take a proper uh, duration of sleep the sleep duration should be proper and it should be at least 7 to 8 hours for most of the people the sleeping duration should be 7 to 8 hours now say if you want to increase the duration of study hours and you cut down your sleeping hours by say 1 and 1/2 hours so you end up sleeping for only 6 and 1/2 hours what will happen uh, you know that most of the rem sleep is in the latter half of the of the sleeping time which is like early morning sleep so so if you have cut the duration from 8 hours to 6 and 1/2 hours that 1 and 1/2 hour mostly gets deducted from the rem sleep so there is disproportionate decrease in the rem sleep duration and we know that it would have a long term it would have an impact on our long term memory because rem sleep is the time when the information gets clubbed with the existing information so if you are chronically sleep deprived there is quite a possibility or the likelihood of this thing is quite high that you would also feel that you are not able to memorize stuff now this happens very frequently if a student comes to me and says that sir i am not i am i study but i am not able to recall anything i am not able to memorize anything the first question that i ask is are you sleeping well are you sleeping for enough number of hours and if the answer comes as no most of the students say that sir i want to complete a lot of codes and i want i don't have time to sleep i tell them that if you are not slop, sleeping enough no amount of hard work is going to help you because you would not be able to memorize anything so students please remember this sleep is extremely important and more so important when you are trying to you know uh, cram a lot of stuff when you are trying to uh, remember a lot of rote information so do not try to cut down on the hours of your sleep and ensure that you are taking a 7 to 8 hours sleep every night
uh, some students also get benefited by taking short short naps in the day time uh, others do not like that personally i do not like taking a daytime nap so if you are not a person who likes a daytime uh, daytime nap that's fine but at least in the night the duration of sleep should be enough and sufficient that would help with the memory so i hope you were able to understand this concept and uh, best wishes for your examination and god bless you thanks